Okay guys, we're back with Pokemon Tips. Also, I've, I've got my new 3DS, which I think is pretty cool. And, um, well, I'm just gonna here to tell you about most things. But, let's see here. See, I've already gotten my team. Okay. And I start off with this sand, well, you can't see it exactly, but, let's see. A sand flash. A Deli Bird, Soul Rock, Excadrill, Batang, and a Frost Pass. I've just been training them mainly. Um, and I've gotten them. But now we're back with the Pokemon tips, and I'm here to tell you about how you should like just train your guys. That's an easier way. If you guys want high experience and you don't care about all the EV training and making your guys stronger, then the best place is if you go to either White Forest or Black City and you come over up to the top. And what you do is you come over here, give your Pokemon a lucky egg, and then the other guys that aren't strong enough, and then you just run back and forth, back and forth until you see shaking grass. And everybody knows that chicken grass usually will be just Arduino, which is a good tip because it's an easier way to train. But, well, since I'm not having the luck, but that's how you do that. And then another way is just like for catching Pokemon, there's also another tip that I've got that I found that actually kind of works. And, um, all you do, you know the old fashioned way where you weaken your opponent? Well, I figured out that this way, you don't even have to weaken your opponent, really. All you have to do is just throw a Pokemon, a Pokeball out there, and you just click Y as it hits the ground. Sometimes it won't work, but usually, sometimes it might, but I just been doing that all my all the time but it's not very useful but just in case but let's see here Gyro Ball if you have a slow Pokemon it's a good thing to use but Gene Slash isn't very slow so it's not good for him Fairy Cutter is also a good move because each time you use it which is another thing if you have a move Fury Cutter and you give it a metronome if you're working on a metronome, then that also help because then it'll boost it twice as much each time you use it, which is a really good thing. I don't have him holding one, but I think that's a pretty good idea. Um, just some other things. Maybe would be. Oh, there we go. Critical hit. Thank you. Okay, just some other things. If you really not the type, train much, just use your rare candies and go with it. But you also want PP ups and, thing, and things like that. Maybe even HP ups. All those health, those stat boosters, those will get your Pokemon. It's the same thing as just training normal, but you won't get as much EVs in the right stat you want. But I preferably just do it EV training. Let's see here. Now, organizing your boxes is also kind of cool, is actually kind of good. There's my hydrogen. Um, but I also found out something else. You can design, you can design your boxes like this. And, and that just, I thought that was pretty cool, interesting. But, otherwise... Um, also, if you guys want to contact me at all, and you want to just know some more information, also you guys could ask some questions, and I'll, and I'll post them on these, just, and then I'll answer them. But otherwise, it's fine. And, um, also, see these natures? Yes, it does take a while. But to get the right nature you want, 
because if you take the right nature, if you take the right nature, then your Pokemon stats will be better in one thing, which will take a very long time, but trust me, it will work out. Also, some money tips, just like if you need money, I'll go over here to Andela Bay, and I'll go through that. Um, you can go on PokemonMaryland.com, and they all have this map up there that can help you. Um, which, and just to, if you're willing to have fun, you can do this. Take when I, take with your friends. Just play with your friends and just go like that. And you can play hide and seek. Just like with the intro link. My friend likes to hide here. It's kind of weird. But I like to hide, right? Which is probably a pretty good, which is a funny hiding spot. But I blend in with the umbrella. See? It's funny. Um, but, the, just, just to have fun. I mean, nothing special, but. Also, some daily tips. Uh, if, you go, if you go in here, everybody should know this. But it'll say, uh, I couldn't quite catch that. But it'll say some, on a route, there's a wild outbreak. And you should go get those just to get some rare Pokemon. Um, let's see here. On Route 10. Ooh, I don't know who that is. But then, um, usually you can get some better guys. Oh, that's Tyrog. I know what Route 10 is. Um, but some easy training tips. You can also go to... Oh, shoot. Good. Well, you can go to the Victory Road, and you can, um, battle Sharon every day. Then on Saturdays, you're able to, um, you're able to battle Bianca at the Pokemon, uh, Pokemon Lab every, on Saturdays, and battle the week. So I'll also help you. Battling the league is actually a good thing because it'll give you a lot of different EVs and you'll be well rounded. But. Ah, oh, shoot, I can't get away. Okay, but if you go over here, you come over here, you'll be able to find Team Psychic, which is somewhere like right up in here. That's Team Psychic, which is a good thing to have. If you like psychic types. Um, I would recommend getting that. Because, I mean, it's a pretty good move. And, just, it's just a bunch of other things. Um, my best thing to offer you guys is probably just, if you have any questions about anything, just post me and just, I mean, if they'll... Feel free to ask, um, because, I mean, that's what I'm here for, just giving you guys some tips, but, um, I think that'll be all for this tips, but I hope you guys watch all my tips, and see you later.